Hey guys, welcome to another USB not showing on Windows video. I've done one, but this one is going to be a different version. Even though 99% of the guys said they resolved it, but for that 1%, I'll show you a different way, which is awfully similar to the last one, but a little bit more in depth. Let's plug in our USB. We hear the sound and there is no autoplay. We go to our uh, file explorer, we click our PC, and it's nowhere to be seen. Our USB is a 32 gigabyte Easy Glide or Cruiser Glide, what you call them, and it should show up at least 29 point something gigabytes, and it's not showing up right here. If we go to our PC, go to Manage, and here at the Disk Management, you will go down, and we see here that it's supposed to be showing up, but it's not showing up. And I, if you change the drive letter, it will not let you. If you try to format it, it will not let you. So we close this part up. We go to our uh, devices and printers here on the Windows 10. And if we scroll down, we see that our USB is right here. It's showing up somewhere, but it's not usable. What do we do in this case? We go to our CMD again. We click CMD. We right click on top of CMD and run as administrator. Click yes when prompted. Wait for it to give you uh, to open the window. And we hit disk part. It opens up this part. In this uh, part, we put list disk. As you see, I have a million disks right here, so don't worry about that part. What do we want to make sure here? That we are only working with a disk that we intend to. If you format the wrong disk, the wrong letter right here, there is no going back. Unless you spend money on software that attempts recoveries and sometimes it can corrupt files. In my case, I know it's disk 11. It's the last one right here because it shows up as 29 gigabytes since I have nothing else 32 or 29 gigabytes. And to make sure that you are not hitting the wrong disk, I suggest you remove everything else except your keyboard and mouse from your computer and insert your USB drive. In that case, you are 100% certain. What do we do in this case? We select our drive now. We know our drive is disk 11. We hit select disk 11. Disk 11 is now the selected disk. In this, after we enter this command, we type clean to clean this disk. This part, this part succeeded in cleaning the disk. At this point, 80% of the chances are that your disk will still not show up. What do we do after this point? Now, we have to create at that part of the disk that we just cleaned as primary. You enter the command create part pri, P R I. Hit enter. This part succeeded in creating the specified partition. Now we want to activate that partition to make it active on the system. With active, this part mark the current partition as active. Next command after you mark it as active, would be to format it and give it a system file uh, file system and label it. W how we do that? We uh, type format space for file system. We have uh, three major file systems. XFAT, which is used usually if you want to use the same USB on Mac and Windows, or Sometimes for Linux, but Linux most of the time doesn't really care any kind of file system, it will open. Or we have FAT32 for USBs that are usually under 32 to 64 gigabytes in size. Our USB is 32, so it will be our next one. It will be FAT32. But you can do NTFS for USB drives or hard drives that are over 100 to 128 gigabytes in size. In my case, we type FS, 
equals fat32. We want to label this USB. We want to give it a name. Don't hit enter yet. We click label equals. What do we want to name this USB? Let's say 32 gig. And in this case, we want to do a quick format after we enter all this information that we told it to format it as a file system fat32. Label it. Give it the name 32 gigs. And we click quick. So, now you have four commands going on right now that Windows will apply to your USB, and then hit enter. You wait for it. This part successfully formatted the volume. But, you have to assign a letter to the USB. Make sure you check what other drives are taken, which we know C, D usually are taken. So, we, what do we do here? We put assign letter equals to what letter you want to put that is not in use with any other drive. In my case, I'm just going to put letter S because I know I have nothing on letter S. And we hit enter. And now it says this part successfully assigned the drive letter or mount point. Next is to verify what we just did. And we just hit list volume. List volume. And as we see right here, we have volume S right here. You see with asterisk that we just worked on. It says volume 4, letter S as we said. The name is now 32 gig. System file or file system FAT32. Of course, it's a removable USB drive. 29 gigabytes, which is 32, but th uh, 29 was recognized per the system. And it says healthy. After this, you could either click uh, X or you can do exit. It does the same thing, leaving this part and that's it. In this case, let's go to our uh, explorer, click our disk, and here's your drive. Let's try to put something on it just to make sure that it works. As you see, it's dropping the files that we just put on it. Boom. Here it goes. And always keep in mind and remember to safely remove your drives. Eject Cruiser Glide 3.0. That's right here. Don't be lazy. Click that. It's so easy. Sometimes it's on this deck here. Sometimes you have to click the small arrow. You click this and you eject Cruiser Glide. Now our Cruiser Glide is ready to move on with life. To make sure that we did a good job, we put the Cruiser Glide back on and see if it's recognized. Here goes the cute Windows noise. We click our Explorer. We go to our PC and here's our Cruiser Glide. And here's the files that we just put on it for fun to make sure that it works. And uh, do not forget, as silly as it sounds, as silly as it sounds, go to your Windows updates. They have a lot to do with malfunctions in your system, especially with I.O. It has a lot to do with it. Please hit that update. If you think that up Windows updates might be spying on you or something, I think you're too late for that. That train has departed long time ago because you're already on the Windows system. <laughs> so hit that update as I have here an update already to be done. See that? Now I will hit download and install, but you do your download and install on your side. I'm not going to bore you with waiting my download and install. I hope this video helps somebody out there. And if you guys want me to, I can uh, probably put the commands on this uh, video's description so you have them for easier access so you don't need to put the video back and forth if you want to and uh, we'll see you next time thank you for stopping by and if you don't mind to like share subscribe would be amazingly appreciated if not i still thank you for spending your time with me and i hope you learned and it helped you see you next time bye